Welcome everybody. I'm Steve. I'm Jamie. We're with Road Trail Run and we're reviewing the New Balance Rebel V4. So Jamie, what are some of the experiences you've had in other versions of the Rebel? So I never got to run in uh, version one, but I've run in multiple, um, multiple ones in version two and version three. Um, it was my kind of favorite uh, daily trainer, but also like up-tempo shoe as well. Okay. And what would you say like just between those versions is version four an upgrade? Do you think it's a downgrade? Maybe what are some of the pros and cons of the changes? I think version four has a little more versatility than the previous ones. Um, it's got um, kind of a little bit more uh, wiggle room, a little more stack height. Uh, so it's kind of a better option for daily training and daily miles versus in some of the previous ones. It might be a little bit, a little too minimal for um, those like daily, daily, daily training runs. Awesome. So what are some of the major differences in terms of like the midsole foam compound, yeah. stack height, and so forth? So version four has a 20% PIBA, 80% EVA. Um, it still has the fuel cell, fuel cell midsole. Um, it's still a six millimeter drop, um, just like version three. Um, this one's a 33 in the heel, 27 in the forefoot. Um, and then version three was 28 in the heel, 22 in the forefoot. So it still keeps that same um, six millimeter drop. It's just uh, slightly higher in the stack height. And what's interesting about that too is we we see um, a larger stack and also a wider platform, but we lost nine grams in weight mm -hmm. um, for the average sizes. So uh, some of the size differences uh, with the weight version four, we're looking at seven point three ounces for a men's US nine, and then six point three ounces for a US women's eight, um, and that's nine grams less than the previous version of V three. Uh, what about the width? Width, I would definitely say, is a little bit more roomy, more accommodating. So uh, V4 is um, 97 millimeters in the heel, um, 120 millimeters in the forefoot um, versus, versus version three. Uh, it's 76 millimeters um, in that heel and then 110 millimeters in that forefoot. So about 10 millimeters more um, in the forefoot. So anyone with a a wider foot or want something with a little bit more uh, toe splay, it's going to be a greater option. Yeah, and I can say without a doubt with having that extra width, um, I think it definitely opens it up to more runners. And mm -hmm. in terms of like stability, I think it makes it a little bit more stable of a platform too, because it's not nearly as narrow as the previous version. Um, talk about some, maybe some of like your personal experience running in the shoe, uh, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Yeah. So, um, compared to version three, which a lot of people would say was super soft, super bouncy. Um, this one kind of loses some of that bounciness and it creates, still has that nice responsive feel. Um, it's not going to be quite as bouncy as the previous one. So it's got a little more ground feel, I would say, which some people might really like. Um, personally, I really, I loved version three and, had many pairs of them, um, and I loved them for those kind of um, um, like up tempo efforts. Version four, I would say, you could definitely get a little bit more of those like easy miles kind of daily training options um, without feeling like you need to run super fast in it. I'd completely agree with that too. I think the softness it takes a little bit of the flex out of the shoe, mm -hmm. um, but it also makes it fit more in that daily trainer kind of category. So it may increase its versatility because it's still obviously light enough to do like up tempo work, mm -hmm. but it has the wider base. It has a larger stack. Um, that's going to carry you through a lot of easy miles too. Absolutely. Awesome. Let's see these on the run. <laughs> 